Okay. Steve, yet another courageous fight back in the second half. But again, we've left ourselves with it all to do, haven't we? Yep. Um, I had a comment as I walked off at half time uh, from two of our supporters. Everyone's got their own opinion, and I listened to it. One of them said, take Jack Parter off because he's rubbish. Um, and the other one said, same old story. And I can't, the one with Jack Parter, I thought Jack was probably one of our shining lights in the first half with Nick Wheeler. So I disagree with that one, but the second one was spot on. You know, I can't agree with him more because, as I've just said to them in there, how often do they want to go behind and make this uh, remarkable comeback? It's not good enough, um, especially this late in the season. Uh, they was waiting, our players were waiting for something to happen, one other player to do something to spark them. Um, and unfortunately it was, our spark was when Tommy Whitnell was courageous in our box to stop them having a chance. Um, by the look of it, he's fractured his uh, cheek. Um, and that seemed to spark us into life. And I feel for Tommy because he's had a horrible season for injuries. Um, and that's just capped off a nightmare season for him. The first goal particularly seemed a bit disappointing. We, we couldn't quite believe that when in net, really. They were told beforehand, don't give cheap free kicks away. Um, they've been given numbers to mark and deal with football. First mistake, we give a free kick away. Didn't go with our players and he's tapped it in. You know, um, questions were asked at half time from the players because you know, they're all an honest bunch. Um, but it's too late, it's in the back of the net. And the same with the second one, you know, we, we jump out of a challenge. We don't realise the danger, and he's hit a volley that he probably won't hit again. But it was a good finish, but he shouldn't have got to that stage, 2-0. We probably had five or six good chances in the first half, didn't, create, uh, didn't take any of them. It gives you a amount of climb at half-time with 45, 50 minutes left. So they've been told in there that it's not acceptable, um, because we keep doing it. You know, It's great the fans help us and stuff like that, but I don't want to be walking off the pitch and fans saying to me, same old story. And I can't argue with it, because it's right. Uh, a lot of hard work to do between now and cementing our playoff place. Uh, regardless of how many points we need, it's hard work. Uh, and that will be done the training ground starting on Tuesday. And uh, we've got two more games. But uh, I think some other clubs have dropped points, so we're, st we're still well in the mix. We're still, we're still got a great chance, haven't we? I think one more win and we'll be OK. But we should have had a win today. You know, I'm not saying nothing away from Billericay. I watched them Wednesday. I knew what they were going to be like. They were giving details of players and stuff. Um, and for some reason didn't seem to take it on board. Uh, like I say, they was waiting for a spark from someone else to trigger them. And they've all got to do it from, from the first minute to the last minute. And like I say, it's just disappointing that it keeps happening. Uh, away from home, last week solid. You know, maybe I've given too much praise beforehand today about their performance last week. I thought the first half last week was as professional as we've done this season. And then second half, when they got a little bit of a rocket half time, three goals in ten minutes killed the game. Um, and it proved it there. When we put teams under pressure, we're, we're a handful. And it could have been a different story at half-time. It could have been 2 all, um, But it wasn't. It was 2-0. And you shouldn't give teams at home two goal starts because good teams will hurt you. And they hurt us today because we couldn't get that winner. Mm. But they are a predictable side. But what they do, they do efficiently, don't they, Billericay? Yeah, and they've had a very good season. Um, a bit like us. Probably no one expects us to be up there. Uh, and they've fallen away the last few weeks. But you're looking at home, you're playing them. They had nothing really to play for today apart from spoiling our little party of, of making the playoffs. And they come here to do that. And first half, they've done it. They've got their goals and, and they deserve them as well. Let's be honest about it. Um, even though we could have scored a couple, they deserved their 2 0 lead because they were quicker to the ball, um, hungrier to get the ball. And we just thought it was going to happen. And we let the game pass us by for long periods in that first half. And it hurt us. But the boys show character to come back. But I don't want to keep saying we show character to come back. We should be in a commanding position at home where you don't need to do that. You took Charlie off, Charlie Webster off, quite quickly after half time. Was, did he have. A, a no, no, it was just tactical. I thought Tommy Whitton would get in them little pockets and maybe hurt him a bit more. And he'd done well when he first came on, had a couple of good touches. But like I say, it's unfortunate that he's shown all that desire to get from the edge of their box where we gave the ball away. To in our box to stop the boys scoring or having a chance for an over a kick, and he's took one for the team there. And like I say, I feel for him because he's had a horrible season, as I said before. And yeah, I, I, I won't go until I know too. I'll know a bit more later when I speak to him. But okay. he's, he's gone to hospital now to get it seen to, which okay. is disappointing. Okay, um, James, folks, uh, 
was he had an injury right at the end and he came back on yeah he went over the top of someone to win a header um, and land on his back quite awkwardly um, so he was he was another one that walking wounded towards the end um, but again we're assessed on Tuesday We've got a week now to our next game but they're going to be working hard Tuesday and Thursday on certain aspects of the game to make sure we don't concede sloppy goals like we've been doing good news okay then thanks Steve cheers Jim cheers thanks mate thanks.